Okay, I got a 2012 Hyundai Azera. It's got a V6 engine in it, and um, it needs a new engine. It's locked up. So, customer got an engine. These are extremely expensive. I paid more for what, this used engine than I did my 5.4 rebuilt. It's like six grand. So I'm gonna kind of go through the process. Start unhooking the battery and then get in the air, drain everything you can. Take the wheels off next. All right, you ready to cover your eyes. We're gonna take this oil filter out. Let's see what kind of condition it's in. Definitely got some metal. It's pretty dry. Confirm. Sheesh. They did add a lot of oil right before they sh shut down. All right, so I got it draining, got the coolant. Plug out, got the belt off. I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt the compressor, swing it. And then I was looking at the exhaust. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just disconnect it right at the manifold cats. And maybe see if I'm, I don't even know if I'm gonna take this out the top or the bottom. Yeah, I got a ton of room down here, so I'll probably take the radiator out and then just shift it forward and lift the car off of it all right so I got a chance to come back here and work on it so I uh, went ahead and took this catalytic converter off in the car and uh, cuz I'm gonna scoot it forward and then drop it out of the bottom it's got like a little mini subframe that I got to clear which shouldn't be too hard. I should have plenty of room. Um, I got the torque converter bolts out. That was difficult because the engine barely turns over by hand. So I was luckily could get it all the way around because that would have been a headache. Uh, got the fan off. Got the axle out. Went ahead and unbolted the, where it, the half shaft bolts onto the back of the engine. Left that cat in. I don't think I could pull it off easy, but it's, I think it'll be fine. Uh, I got this motor mount and got the compressor off hanging. Pretty good suspension. Freaking AC lines are leaking. So once we get this thing running, I may have to talk to him about that. And then got the alternator out of the way. Make it more room. So. There, there's the back lower mount. Sorting the bolts. So I'm about to lower it down and put the jack table underneath it and start trying to lift the car off. Alrighty, so I got everything but the mounts disconnected. I've got my table jack underneath it. I gotta take this off so I get it enough under the car. Um, I did this fast because I got to turn the fan off to record. So. Looks like we got the bolts on top of the transmission. 17. <coughs> I didn't. Oh, always one. 
always one. So, got it out, go over and kind of look at everything before you start disassembling. And, um, because the new one's pretty, well, the used, used one, pretty much complete. But there's always some cut harness, and it's a good idea to use the original harness. I put a Hemi engine in one time, same harness, had a two different pin, uh, Two different pins out of all a thousand pins was wrong and it was throwing check engine lights and I had to re-harness the, the the whole engine while it was already in the car. So I tried to take a shortcut by just using the harness that came with the engine and I paid for it. Alright, so we got our first issue with the used one, the broken uh coolant housing. So this is to be expected. Don't sell an engine job and not price out possibly needing the intake or anything plastic that's not the main long block put yourself in a position where you can afford to replace them so that's why when I took the old one out I was very careful with the heater hose fittings anything plastic so I'm gonna swap it over find a set of gaskets and um, continue on